Hi everybody, this is Tom from Clean Right Corporation for Tom's Way. Today we're going to show you how to install an AirLogic low pressure system. This one just happens to be a foamy brush system, but the pre-soak system and the white wall system actually install the same way. They're simple, they're convenient, and they're low maintenance. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to install the air dryer or the air supply unit on this. You can do it after it's on the wall, but it's much easier to do it before you put it on the wall. Have it so it's vertical. That part's complete. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're actually going to anchor this to the wall. Which they supply you four holes to do it with. I just use tap cons going into any kind of wall and it seems to hold it up good. The next thing you're going to do is install the hydro minder. It comes with a 506 hydro minder. Put the float on it because it's a lot easier to do it before you put it together than it is later. Okay after that is done you're going to install the pickup tube on it. You're going to install the drop tube on it. There's a small piece of drop tube that comes with this that goes down into the tank. It's already pre-cut so that it can draw out of the tank. It also has a nine foot pickup tube just like any other 506 would have that's going to go down into your soap. All right. At this time if you want you can determine what tip you're going to put in it for the chemical you're going to use whether it's white wall, pre-soak or foamy brush. Depending on what soap you use you can use the tip accordingly. All right. The next thing you're going to do is set up a manifold to send this out to the bay. Now I make my own up out of JG fittings and poly tubing. It's fairly simple. We use a quarter inch or a three eighths Y, put adapters in it to go down to quarter inch. I put a short piece of poly tubing on it, the same length, on each side. Then I put a piece of three eighths, a short piece in the middle. Put a female connector on the other end and then I put a hose barb that's quarter inch by half inch on it. Now the reason I do it this way is because I send poly braid all the way out to the bay. I don't send the poly tubing out because the poly braid will last longer plus it gives you access to this little manifold inside your equipment room. It doesn't extend the amount of time it takes for the product to get out there because you're still driving it with air and you're still sending it out with an air pump. So you're going to have the same lead time whether you're using half inch poly braid or whether you're using poly tubing. The advantage of using the poly braid all the way out is you don't have to have a foam generator because you give it all that area to foam on its way out to the bay. All right, bay one, top solenoids. And so it's the poly tubing. Once you have the poly tubing in it, this is what you have. Now if you take half inch poly braid and run it from your low pressure boom into here, put it right on here. I supply everything out to the bay with half inch poly braid because of the amount of time it will last. It doesn't get hard on you, it doesn't get brittle on you, and it's very, very unlikely you're going to get a hole in it. If you have poly tubing going all the way out, you have a brittle piece of material going out there that at, with age will get hard, will get brittle, and you have to patch it. And I don't you know, most, car, mo, mo, most gentlemen like myself don't want to crawl up inside that trough and replace it. So I put all mine down here. So I can actually do it down here. If a poly tube fitting goes bad or something, it's right where you can get at it. You have a full length of poly braid going all the way out from here to the foamy brush boom or pre-soak boom or whatever you're putting it out there. It's a solid piece of hose. It's very unlikely you're going to have problems with it for a long time. Once that's complete, the next step on is to get the control wires in here. From left to right is bay one, bay two, bay three. This is a three bay system. And it always runs from left to right from top to bottom. So if this is bay one, it goes on the first peg. Bay two will go on the second peg. Bay three will go on the third peg. All the neutrals go on the fourth peg. Simple and easy. All right, after that is done, you have everything supplied out to the bay, ran, you have all of the solenoids plumbed in and ready to go. All right, the next thing you're going to do is supply water to the hydro minder. I don't normally put my water and stuff on until after I've got everything plumbed out. That way I don't have a problem with trying to climb over this or moving this around or whatever. It's all done later because this is already on the wall. All your plumbing is done out to the bay. You don't have to worry about that part of it anymore. Supply the water. Make sure you have the correct tip in that you want for the product you're using. Make sure the pickup tube is down inside the tank. Make sure the pickup tube is long enough to go down inside the bucket of soap that you're having. Once you have that done, you're going to supply air. Now, 
the flow jet pumps will do a lot more than what you need to do. They'll do about you know, up to 80 pounds or so. These don't run that high. Pre-silk and white wall, I run about 60 pounds. Foamy brush, I run about 45. Once you have the air supplied to this, you turn the product one up to approximately 45 pounds. Then you turn the air one up to approximately 25 pounds. You just installed a low pressure unit. Okay, after you have everything on this plumbed up, the water hooked up, the air into it, what you're going to do on a foamy brush system like you're going to set it about 45 pounds on the product, about 25 on the air. With pre-silk and white wall, I usually run about 60 pounds on the product, about 25 pounds on the air. Let the system run for three to five minutes. That way, you even out the tank, you have the same concentrate in the tank that you're going to be running continuously all, any other time. Go out in the bay and look at it. If you want it thicker, you're going to turn the air up a little bit. If you want it thinner, you're going to turn the air down a little bit. Once you have it set the way you want it and you have the consistency that you want out inside the bay, you're done. You shouldn't have to touch it again. The advantage with this is, is it's a nice, simple, compact system that will supply up to six bays off of this flow jet pump. Inexpensive flow jet pump, it's all simple. It's very simple. It's not a lot of maintenance. It's not a lot of work. It's not a lot of time installing. Simple, easy, low maintenance. Thank you. See you again. Clean up.